the strategy I took was to put him in a location where nobody would look. Considering that Ed was a, now a, a, an asylum seeker seeking refugee status, and the fact that I have up to 70 refugee clients, it just made sense to put him in with the refugee community. Uh, these were people who faced persecution, cruel and inhuman degrading treatment uh, or punishment, and torture. He said that uh, they need my help. So I just let him come in my house. And um, I, because I don't know what's going on, so I let them give the privacy. When I introduced Ed to these families, they all recognized him as being in the same circumstances they had been in the past. The first day he stayed in my home is uh, He's wake up so early and so upset and uh, then the next day he little bit happy, smile, talking and always ask, ask me about Mr. Thibault. I said don't worry Mr. Thibault will, he know what he's doing for you and he's a very good lawyer and I think he know what's the best thing for you to do. So for them it was a very simple situation. They recognized that he needed, um, he needed support, assistance, and some protection. The same way they all required such when they were fleeing their own countries. He stay in my, my room uh, because uh, our home have two rooms, so we need to give one, one room to him. My room is corner one. Is, uh, uh, we think it's better for him because nobody can disturb the, that room. So we give to him that one, he stayed there. They didn't know who he was, they didn't appreciate who he was. And a short time after uh, he was in their respective care, um, they realized who he was and how significant uh, his disclosures were, and that he was the most wanted man on the planet at that time. Edward told me that buy some things for uh, his computer, and he said that don't forget to buy a newspaper, English newspaper. I, I just saw his uh, very big picture on the front and it was him, his big photo. The most wanted man in the world is inside my house. <laughs> when I saw it, it is a big picture, you know, the, the main topic regarding his case and uh, the full incident and uh, it is a big picture. These three families, in my view, are, are heroes. Um, they proceeded to protect Edward through selfless acts without consideration for themselves. When he go in, he hug me and then uh, tell to me take care. And I also tell to him take care of Edward. I tell to him, if you want to come back, you come back again. I, my home, he say, okay. <laughs> he like eat uh, sweet, uh, he like eat cake, uh, and then he like, he don't like eat too much vegetable. <laughs> like so much. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I said the whole day you sit down your home in your room and you eat cake. <laughs>